Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be creating a snake game in Scratch 3.2. So now let's get started. So you can take these costumes of the snake, this food, game of screen, replay button and these lines. So now let's start with the code of the snake. When the flag is clicked, broadcast a new message named start game. Ok. When I receive start game, set size to 110, forever. We'll go to controls, switch costume to head, wait for pick random 2 to 5 seconds, switch costume back to head 2, wait for 0 0.5 seconds. When I receive start game, we'll make some variables named game score, second one named your score, third one named length, okay, and the fourth one high score. So this time it's a cloud frame. Okay. So we'll add this code forever block inside forever if block. If key right arrow pressed, we'll take two or blocks. And this code point in direction 90, move three steps, duplicate this code, put it beneath, change the values to left arrow key pressed like this. Again, duplicate both these like this when I receive start game point in direction 90 go to X and Y 0 forever if touching edge then broadcast game over stop other scripts in the sprite play sound drum boing until done stop this script so forever create clone of myself when I start as a clone forever change size by division sign and change brightness by division sign. Now in the first cell we will take the join block in both of them. Minus minus length length and 7 7. When I start as clone, switch costume to body, wait length seconds, delete this clone. Now the coding of the food. This code we'll add. Yes. Go to random position, show. When the flag is clicked, forever if block, we'll take these four if blocks with the up, down, right and left arrow keys and we'll put this x and y blocks. Now for the game over screen, we'll take show and hide variables, arrange it in order like this, again duplicate this, change the values and hide, again change the value. When I receive game over and instead of hide this time we'll take show and we'll change the values again over here. Show variable, high score, hide variable, your score, show variable, game score. Now we'll start with the code of the replay button. Forever, if else block, if touching mouse pointed in set size to 90, else set size to 70. This code and then we'll code the lines. When the flag is clicked. We'll go to looks, set, ghost effect to 100, that means it will not be visible. Now we'll drag this code to right, up and down, like this, up and down.
So if you like the project, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. For more such videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Bye. Meet you next time.